All right, wonderful people, welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back-to-back -back update and information as it is hot. In case you have not joined our social media handle, what are you waiting for? Kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to all your notification buttons so that whenever our news drop, you could be the first one. Collect them. Uh, I greet you, wonderful people. Welcome back to the new year. Ibokwenu, yeah. Ibokwenu, yeah. Um, welcome back. You are still with your one and only Nyoko Puss Master uh, man with the see far far. I say happy new year. This is the third day of 2024. And man, I show uh, as I prayed for you last year. I said that uh, the leg where me and you carry enter 2024. Now we go carry enter 2025. And our prayer be say, uh, make government do good, good things, uh, make our country better. For me, oh, I know the Japa anywhere. Nigeria, my country, uh, Biafra, my country, I must benefit from the fruits of this land. Meanwhile, let's go down to the full details of the information as they go. Of course, you know that um, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, the Deputy Speaker, uh, Benjamin Carlo, um, has said that um, what part of his project as the Deputy Speaker is to release Mazen Nandekano Ohamadike one of Ndibo. But that is not um the case of today because uh, for me, I believe in Toknadu uh, because these politicians, uh, how are they so many times, you know? Uh, they will come out and tell us that um, we are there for you and when we vote for them, you will find out that um they are not there for us. Uh, people like uh, Rocha Semu Korocha, uh, those days, he was even eating corn with children on the street. Uh, the Malaya did it. He ate corn with children. Uh, if I can, I can name a lot of politicians who ate corn on the street. Even people like Okarochas was uh, taking mokos. Emayana bo moko, moko iyana bo uzimi. Obuna imi na patang wan imi nibo. Ana bo ya imi. But in English, they call it moko. Uh, if that moko, uh, Rocha Sokorocha was even cleaning moko from the children. Uh, but lo and behold, come to Imo State, you will see the, the dilapidated structure that he erected in Imo State. Uh, the place that is known as the, um, the Hero Square uh, or the Akanwebian. And the rest of the thing he did, even the, the, the molded status he did that costed him billions of naira. Um, I was wondering if those people who erected that um, that statue, they were coming from Pluto, like Charlie Poppy. <laughs> uh, but so, Ndachi Ma, Ndachi Nasa, Ndachi Amaka, Ndachi Grigori, Dan Weken, Dan Wanfon, Dan Wori, and Len Dan Nabobe, Yawkwa Nama Nabobe, Ndachi Wanne, Iwe Wela, Gama Nabobe, Dan Wanfon, Dan Wori, Dan Weke. Uh, and then one for Maracona Map watch out everybody because all of us where they if they no born you from quo, they born you for worry. If they no born you for worry, they born you far for. If they no born you far for, they born you for a care. Uh, that one na Ibo calendar. Me, I be staunch Christian. I know they follow them, they do um a walk with all those things. Uh, but still yet uh as na omena alebu e jimarande na ilu bo mano di bo jerioku. Uh, if you have come across any early Igbo man and um, you are staying with him, and he was talking plainly to you. Just know that that man does not grow, did not grow up with elders. He did not grow. But if you see a staunch Igbo man, you will be hearing things like proverbs. You know if uh, if you know it, drop it on the comment section. Can you first flow la chanto? Open in an ebo. There in a comment section. Go to my to the comment section. Remember that you can still hit me up on the super chat. Super chat is where you can gift me for the good good works I've been doing for you on this YouTube. I want to say hi to to YouTube team. Uh, you guys are doing wonderfully. YouTube is better than every other platform. I can say today or tomorrow. The best platform for you is YouTube. Come to YouTube and everything you want is there. Meanwhile, as you go, um, I'm going to go to the channel. I'm going to go to the channel. I'm going to 
uh, if you be one for Biafra, uh, tell me, can you feel cool again? I know I want one now. You want to go? And what? One, 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 tun tun gang gang. Oh, say, Tela. Some people were there with me, uh, where their parents know they teach. Sorry for now. I say sorry yo, for you uh, because. Uh, this evening, I say I will come with another tempo, another style. Mwa, guam, guam, guam. Eh? Eh, or... Hane, when I wait, wait, I de talk again. But if I say I go double here, make I go for the information of the day as it be. But if you like that guam, guam, guam stuff, just tell me, hit me up, and tell me to do it fully in my other addiction. A time will come where you'll be uh, catching me up live. Life, life, life. It's not even like life. I will, be, I will be there live and be talking to you on life. You will be hearing me live and you'll be understanding what I'm saying. Life. Uh, let's go down uh, to the information of the day as it is hot. Uh, January, don't reach uh, as it is be. They say how Inspector General Ebo Ketun violated court ruling, ordered policemen to demolish power shopping complex. Who say Taylor? They don't carry the thing where we say if they happen for Lagos State, they put them for your inspector of police. Let's go to the full detail of the information. My own be say, I know they like tell you as they be. Uh, now you go carry your ear, they hear them. They say how inspector general of police ever to violated court ruling, ordered policemen to demolish power shopping complex in Lagos as officers loot coups worth millions of naira. <laughs> As in the officer, Jerry, they, they went to inspect a uh, demolition of power shops and their yeah, officers stole uh, properties and things worth millions of naira. Uh, hear it yourself. The traders and occupiers of police officers' wife association power shopping complex phase one and two number 3033 Otiba Street Computer Village, Ikeja, Lagos State, have accused the operatives of the Nigerian police of demolishing their complex and looting their goods worth millions of naira. So our reporters earlier reported that the Nigerian police carried out the demolition of the shopping complex in the early hours of Sunday with armed security operatives supervising the operation. In an interview with journalists, the chairman Computer Dealer Association in Computer Village, Tayo Shitu, said the demolition began around 12 a.m. Shitu said, around 12 a.m. I was called that about 300 policemen had stormed our plaza with up to three bulldozers that they were bringing down our plaza. The whole plaza, phase one and phase two, has been brought down. We are talking of about 300 shops and more than 1,000 occupants. In some shops, we have two three or five people. But in a media statement on Wednesday, the traders and occupiers who lamented the brutal and inhuman treatment carried out on the poor Nigerians who were struggling daily to eke out a living said the worst of it all was that police went away with their goods worth millions of naira. The traders explained that the Inspector General of Police, Kayode Ebogotun, took the law into his hand and contemptuously overreached the order of a court of contempt jurisdiction when he ordered that the shopping complex housing housing about 1,000 traders be demolished with resource to the law at about 12.38 a.m. on Sunday, 31st of December, 2023. Although the police authority have justified demolition, the traders decry that the police didn't want them to evacuate their goods worth hundreds of millions, which their supervisory officers looted with impunity. According to the statement, the police stormed Otiba Street with more than 300 mobile police officers armed to the teeth in 30 Hilos vehicles. Police officers assaulted our security guards. They met in the complex and stole our properties left in our various shop worth millions of naira. The police officers we are seen actively cutting away our goods in their vehicles. The statement reads in part. Uh, my people, when I don't see us, see they happen. Uh, as in one more day, but one more. My mom, my mom, my wife, 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 my wife,
Uh, what I go, I see they be um, the people where they for power plaza, where they for computer village, they complain, say that place, uh, they say now for the place where we say they bring out for police people, wives, and uh, dear, they, 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 and um, uh, a big cartoon will be the IG of police, uh, don't come out to order his men to demolish that particular place. And um, of course, uh, the people say that some time ago that um, they received the letter of demolition of which they like has with the people and the issue was sorted out. But what is um, bringing out the issue, open a catch channel, is what actually uh, we ourselves, we don't know. And um, uh, the thing is that we are still waiting for the Inspector General of Police to let us know what is the reason of demolition that phase one and phase two of Computer Village. And according to the information, that place is housing about 300 shops and also uh, also 300, about 1,000 occupants. According to them, that um, people are like two or three in their shops. And uh, my own is, uh, why are you demolishing these shops? Is there, is there any other thing you want to build there? Or why are you? And if you want to demolish sh these shops, why should it be around 12.38 a.m. in the midnight? And why are the people not available to take their belongings? And for me, um, they say that um, when we were in school, we have three arms of government, the executive, the judiciary, and the legislature. And we are made to know that the, uh, the judiciary are there for the interpretation of the law. And also, uh, they are part of their work is to checkmate, uh, is for checks and balances, and also to complement uh, other arms of government. The three arms of government are there to complement each other. And I will say the interpretation of what is actually happening now, uh, the burden, the, the, the onus is levied on the judiciary. And we will be waiting for them to tell us the explicit, also the full detail of the information, and also how these things are explained, and we'll be able to bring it to your door table. Don't forget that I'm still your one and only Yokopus master, a uh, man where they see far. If this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, you kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news is dropping, you go be the first one. Click that. Meanwhile, I'll be winding down the curtain here. Thank you for listening, Umama. God bless you abundantly.